hopefully we've all been paying nice close attention to our foot placement and knee placement. All right, the first can get into that good position off that choke in that arm bar, it's gonna make all of these really easy. So I'm here, sweating to get that nice deep overhook. All right, I go choke, bending, I go arm bar, all right? Remember why feet in the hips, knees are arm barring here, right? Let me see where my knees are. Pinching, nice and tight, right? Now, here's what's gonna happen if let's say this guy is really strong, or slippery, or I'm just not feeling, I tried to go for this straight arm lock once before and it's not really there. All right, and he, but this time he's gonna try to drive into me. So instead of turning down, right, like before, where when he tries to like turn away, and we got that reverse arm lock, and we plotted this time he's trying to come into me. All right, so go back. So now I'm here, notice where my knee's at. So now if he tries to kind of drive in and come up, I'm swinging this out. Triangle, you see that? Ah, it's only gonna work. My feet are in the right spot. If I'm still here, all right, legs locked or I'm out here loose. And now he tries to come up into me. I'm not gonna be able to swing my leg around, all right? It's only if I'm in this good spot with my feet in his hips, knees up tight. All right, so now when he drives into me, I can easily just post, swing around into this nice triangle position. Now, if we're really flexible, all right? There is a way we can lock up the triangle with this arm here, all right? And give us kind of two options as far as arm bar triangle, all right? So all we're gonna do is just boom, bow, across, lock it up, all right? Now I got triangle, and if he tries <laughs> to like posture up and away, I still have that reverse arm lock there, all right? <laughs> Seeing that? This is how, uh, what's the name, Verdum finally beat Fedor, right here, all right? Actually, didn't he have the arm across, I think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, either way, same concept. So we're here. If we're not that flexible, don't have that good hip movement, have problems just being able to hip out, lock up this triangle, don't. We're here, go extend, arm across, knees tight, grab my shin, foot on the hip, turn, lock up a normal triangle, all right? Just some of us who are flexible, I'll give you the option of, if you're here and have that overhook, right? We don't have to let that go. All right, we can still kind of use that hip, lock it up, all right? Some people aren't flexible, that's fine, I understand. I used to not be able to get that from there at all. So then just normal one. Extend, across. This is the really important part. Once I'm pushing him away to get his arm across. Once his arm's across, I'm pulling my knees to my chest. All right, now he can't posture and now he can't get his arm back across. A lot of us do this. And then he pulls his arm back across. And then we, all right? Arm across, knees tight. I'm trying to get my knees to my chest. Now his arm's trapped. Now it's easy to grab my shin, easy to adjust. Nice tight triangle, all right? So remember, extend, arm across, knees tight. Then we adjust, all right? Don't forget to pull those knees to the chest. So, whole thing again. Get my overhook, I'm here. Reach in, go for that choke, he starts to defend. I'm going, knees up, going for that straight arm lock. He's gonna try to drive into me to stay tight. Posting, swinging around. Triangle position, all right? Either just to hip out, close up the triangle, or extend, cross, knees tight, grab, hip, finish. When we finish, foot under the knee, not on the calf, all the way under the knee. Toes are up, I'm not here, all right? That's loose. Toes are pulled up. I'm trying to get curl my toes back as much as I can, and I drop my heels down as I try to touch my thighs together, all right? That's how we're finishing. Not here, not just here. Toes up, I'm trying to close my thighs as I drop my heels to the ground. Oh. Give it a shot.